now it is time to jump on to an industry keynote on the topic, the ever-increasing role of trust in the sustainable CX. Well, we hope the social media is uh, creating a rave with the hashtag TrescomCX today. On all our social media handles, please do keep uh, tweeting or keep sharing on the entire event today. Well, we're going to be joined by Gaurav Sharma, Chief Strategy Officer and Chief Customer Officer for Lenko. Gaurav Sharma, uh, you know, is somebody who's worked as a management consultant at Accenture and is a part of the HQ office of the Chief Customer Office at uh, Hewlett Packard as well. So thank you so much, uh, Gaurav, for giving us your valuable time today and being a part of the World CX Summit uh, India edition. With this, we'd request you to now please join us on the stage and screen. Thank you so much, Pavna. Pleasure. It's a, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. If you just give me a minute, I'll just share my screen so that uh, people don't only have to look at me, they can look at something more interesting, <laughs> which is a very small uh, background slide deck which I've just put together for this talk. Um, cool, so good to go. Perfect. Should I start? Yeah, thank you. All right. So, hello everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, you know, virtual has become real and that's the reason why the second half of my topic, which is uh, digital CX is something that most of our customers, most of us have already been experiencing. Um, the topic which I have been given and, uh, you know, I'm very excited about is the role of trust in sustainable digital CX. I think everything on this topic is well understood by everybody, except I feel a lot of us don't naturally understand how deep the word trust is. And I want to spend some time first understanding what trust is. Um, so, you know, I come from a company which is uh, uh, into subscription of furniture. And I'll talk slightly little more about it in another minute or two. Uh, but before I jump into the core of this topic, I uh, wanted to spend some time on trust. So trust has two constituents and what you will see on the screen, the first one is character, which a lot of us unfortunately think is enough for people to trust us. Character is essentially who am I? Am I approachable? Am I somebody whom people reach out to, like to talk to, would uh, feel comfortable with? Uh, and that is something which many a times companies, people, organizations, teams, individuals, leaders think is enough. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Character is just one half of the story. For people to trust you, you need something else as well. And that something else is competence. Uh, a lot of times you would have seen, oh yeah, this individual is a fantastic person, amazing professional but I don't think he has or she has the competence to do this project. And therefore we drop the person from a very, very critical project or a, you know, the most important uh, board meeting and so on. So trust comes not only if you set up a very solid customer support team, people who are you know, very good to talk to, you have a nice fancy social media handle, that is character. But how do you really resolve? How do you really solve? How do you really reach out to the customers and make it very, very seamless for them to have a good digital customer experience. For that, you need competence. And I'll be spending actually first off of my talk more on competence and then on the character. I was telling you about our business. So Falenko does subscription of furniture. It's almost like you can think about it like uh, a Netflix and uh, that's for movies. This is for furniture. You take around uh, 30 to 60 seconds to go on the app or a website, our website, and then you can place an order for the furniture and in 72 hours, you will get it at your doorstep. You pay a monthly subscription fee. Now, the critical part in subscription business, and I think a lot of panelists also come from this side of the business. In fact, all of us who are attending this event has sometime or the other subscribed to some service, if not an OTT platform, right? Uh, the the tricky part about subscription is that the power of subscription lies in the hand of the customer who can unsubscribe anytime. So how do you really make sure that the customer stays with you? And that is the challenge. And therefore, uh, companies have to build a lot of competence around this, make sure that customers can trust what you are offering. And that is when you start 
pushing the limits. So furniture is typically not a very, very design oriented industry in India. Uh, so what we did first is we set up an in-house design team. That was the first competence we built. Then we built our own logistics, warehousing, uh, you know, refurbishment facilities so that we are able to give a seamless setup in 72 hours. Customers, it's just like Netflix, right? You can change the movie, you can watch something else, some other content. So similarly, you can swap, upgrade, change the designs, all of that. If the customers get transferred or relocated, we shift uh, the furniture for them. They don't have to hire a truck ever. And of course, there is a cost angle to it. But I will not uh, do a lot of advertising here. I will jump into the competence part. The first thing that any company today for digital customer experience needs to build is technology. You need to invest a lot in technology. So what we did, just like the design team getting our own furniture out, we set up our own technology platform. So everything that we have in Falenco today is uh, inbuilt. Uh, uh, very little of it is outsourced. Uh, it's a 100% online transaction. When we started eight years ago, uh, people said, who buys furniture online? And now today, I think people are buying the, almost everything online. Um, but how do you make it a smooth experience? How do you use augmented reality uh, so that the, the customer can actually see the furniture in their house? They can use their camera, use the imagery of the furniture. Basically, the augmented reality feature that we have on our app and actually see how the furniture will look in their house. So that was very, very critical for us. And, um, you know, it's all mobile. Uh, how I mean, there was a time when uh, uh, people used to say, how will apparels be decided online on the mobile phone where you have smaller screens? Here we are selling furniture. Uh, so that is one thing that you need to keep engaging on. So the digital customer experience has to have one constituent, which is this is not a real estate, this is not a store. This is essentially a, a virtual estate. This is your app screen and people just scroll. If they don't like something, they may not even scroll up and down. They will just move to the next product. So that real estate is very precious, which is good enough for fitting on your phone screen and what do you really show on that screen? How do you really convert a customer and so on? So that's extremely critical. And of course, when it comes to asset utilization, data, you know, MI, all of those things, logistics management, uh, do some predictions. That also is something that one needs to invest on. The other aspect is, well, uh, though this is e-commerce um, and everything is digital, digital but uh, you do go and meet customers when you deliver your product. Now, this is when the rubber hits the road. And there are two, three complexities here, which I thought uh, you know everybody should know about and how do you really build a sustainable experience for customers around that. And that is a very big challenge, which is, this is wood furniture. How do you really ship it or transport it to customers given the logistical constraints that we have in our country? And that is very, very critical uh, in this business. So the whole logistics piece of it, uh, reaching to the customers, training your labor, we call them champs, by the way. I mean, they are really our champs. They are the people who are really you know, uh, taking our furniture to the customer's house, they're actually entering customer's houses, customer's premises, unlike other companies where you just deliver at the doorstep and get out. The other complexity here is that it's a subscription business. So when the customers unsubscribe, the furniture has to come back into the warehouse. And this is where the trust is very, very important because the next customer wants to know what are you doing with this furniture? How are you ensuring that it is good clean, sanitized for me. And that is when we set up the one of the largest refurbishment facilities in the world. We have it in you know six cities, uh, the biggest ones in Bangalore and Mumbai, where we said we will rip apart the piece of couch and put it back together. We'll change the spring, the foam, the fabric, we'll do deep cleaning, enzyme washing, solid wood polishing, all of those things. All of these competencies we had to invest in in order to win the trust of the customer. So that's exactly why this competence is important. But I should also talk to you about the other part of process. So then now I was talking about competence, but here I'm talking about character. And this is where it gets very, very critical because, you know, um, so I have this framework, which is called never point, but lead, right? So uh, imagine, if this event was happening in a lavish five-star hotel and we would have entered and we would have asked, 
one of the staff members, hey, so where is the washroom or where is this event happening? In a good hotel, in good hospitality industry standard, the person is not supposed to point where that location is, like go and take a ride, that is where the washroom is. They are supposed to lead you into it. They're supposed to take you there. They're supposed to take you with them and say, this is the washroom, here you go. This is where the conference is happening, here you go. So never point, lead. How do you do that digitally, right? For customer experience. And by the way, I have also opened lead into uh, a full form where when you interact with customers in social media or through the chat bots or through the calls, you have to listen, you have to empathize, you have to assure, and you have to deliver and delight. And do all of this 24 seven. Uh, subscription, I think this is very critical. It also has to have an element of retention. Today, if you just uh, unsubscribe from a Netflix, nobody calls you. Hey, so what happened? Are you looking for documentaries? Are you looking for this, that content? I have some suggestions. We do that. So, you know, companies have to invest in retention as a very, very key strategy for customers. And of course, social media has a lot of noise, a lot of buzz, a lot of keywords. That pattern has to be studied on what the customers are talking about. It's not about the CSAT score, the resolution satisfaction score, NPS, etc. But it's also about the buzz around your brand and company. And finally, it has to be top down. The reason why I'm saying it has to be top down is because so, for example, um, though I am the chief strategy officer, but customer experience also lies with me. So I'm also a chief customer officer in my company, which means customer experience stop, starts or stops, the buck stops at me, but it starts from me as well, right? And from the founder, the CEO of me, the leadership team and so on. That is very, very critical when you want to build trust because your employees are emulating exactly what you are doing and saying in the meetings. If you are not loyal to your customers, there's no way your employees will be loyal to your customers. So digital or not, I think to win trust, the top-down approach is supremely critical. We do screw up. We do have issues. There are some severe escalations because this is furniture, as I said, that it means a lot to people and there can be some handling issues, QC issues. But how do we really fix it? Really builds the trust. I strongly feel that the customers who are actually your detractors, who are actually people who are, uh, you know, who have escalated or who are not happy, if you turn around the situation, they can actually become your promoters. And that's what we see in, uh, you know, Falenko. So finally, just to end this, uh, you know, I strongly believe that customer experience should not be a word on the wall. It should be felt in the hall. I strongly believe that one has to be loyal to the customers. They are not present in your team meetings. And therefore, it is important to be loyal to your customers. And therefore, I believe if we don't take care of our customers, somebody else will. So that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about trust and sustainable digital CX. I'll be very happy to take questions if there are any. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Gaurav. Uh, loved the presentation, uh, precise, uh, yet uh, gave so much of information. Uh, Gaurav, on behalf of Trescon Global, we'd really like to thank you for giving us your valuable time.